Rider Japan, welcome. Well, a, quick, a quick video on looking after your R1 over winter. I'm going to show you what I do to keep mine in good work in order. So obviously I won't bother mentioning it should be maintained well, clean air filter, like fresh oil, or at least clean oil, you know, um, tire pressures and all that, clean the chain and stuff. So just things I do after I wash it, try to wash it regularly, uh, don't let it get too grimy. And uh, the next step is to get some spray oil, any old oil, cheap stuff from a pound shop, whatever, uh, and a rag. This is what I do to keep it, keep it fresh. Okay, front of the bike. Get oily rag, spray it gently here. Obviously don't get oil on your brake discs or your calipers or the tires or any controls, foot controls, hand controls. Um, I'm just putting a, just getting an oily, greasy layer on top of all the exposed metal because uh, it helps it keep clean because it stops dirt sticking to it. And if there is, there is inevitably gonna be bits on there, but it just wipes off next time you wash it because it's sort of slippery. So really good for just making life easier and gives it a sort of protective coating. This is worthwhile. Get oil down in your ignition. There's tiny little delicate pins in there. You want those, uh, you don't want those season up ever. So there you go, that's that done. I'm doing that everywhere the key goes. And then also make sure that turns nicely because that can get all like dried up and stuff. So uh, I don't want to spray oil in the tank, even though I don't think it'll do it much harm. Um, get some spray oil on that or probably better yet, something a bit heavier, a bit of heavier gauge oil or grease even, just to make sure that works nicely. Don't forget your uh, little secret compartment. So after I wash it, I try to dry it quickly with a chamois cloth and then I'll start it up. I've got a car park opposite me, so I'll just sort of do a few U-turns and uh, just sort of shake the water off the wheels and stuff and uh, helps it, the bike warms up a little bit, helps it dry out all the bits you can't reach. But yeah, anyway, um, the exposed aluminium parts. I can even do that. This is, makes it look nice, gives it that, that shiny, greasy coating to make it easier to wash next time. I know, I just touch it everywhere. Everywhere's a bit of metal exposed. Also, you never know what maintenance might be doing in the future. If you've got a can of spray oil in your hand and you're knelt down next to your bike, you may as well spray over all the little bolts, all the little connectors, because it'll stop them being seized up next time. Any little mechanical little things you can see exposed, you can give them a coat of spray oil. Exhaust, why not? carbon as well. It seems to polish up nicely with a coat of oil. Wheels, obviously be careful, don't spray it on your discs, not on your calipers. Uh, better safe than sorry, just spray it on your rag and then just wipe around your wheels because obviously they get bits of grease coming off the chain and stuff. Be careful of your tyres. A little bit of common sense. So my chain is looking a bit dirty. Um, what I'll do is, I won't do this here, but what I do is I shove a bit of cardboard behind the chain there to protect the tyre. I go along the bottom half of the chain with a spray oil, uh, rub it in, and then I've got some gear oil, Yamalube gear oil. It's good because it's like a heavyweight sort of sticky oil. It doesn't flick off too much. Um, and then I'll just go over, I just sort of got it in a, in a little sort of squeezy bottle thing and I'll just go along that make sure that sits in there move the bike forward about a foot or more uh, and then do it again so I've got the whole chain done so that's the chain sorted that cleans it and lubes it up and then as for this again be careful your foot controls don't get oil over where you need to have grip so all these little things spray oil on them people have mentioned in the past you shouldn't spray oil on parts that are greased because this is a water displacer it can sort of take the moisture out of grease like in bearings and stuff so uh, do your own research do what you want on your bike i, I happily spray spray oil in there <laughs> so it might be might be a bad idea but whatever you want um but yeah basically all exposed metal give it a nice shiny coat of spray oil it's basically the theme of this video is spray oil everything uh, even in there like you know you don't want your you might say that should only be greased i just spray oil that there's a 
exposes the cable there. He might want to shoot some spray oil, try and get that up into the cable route. I don't know. It's how I look after my bike. It's looked after me. This is like the third, fourth winter now I've had it. Um, runs brilliant. Uh, yeah, I just basically keep it clean, keep everything fresh. Uh, it's a good thing about washing your bike as well. You're getting your hands all over it. Like today, I found this has got a bit of a rattle, so I've got to tighten that up. I have actually got different indicators to put on. I might, I may as well just, oh, I don't know, I'm just tightening up for now. I'm not in the mood for taking all the ferrying off and stuff, but basically, I found that from washing it. So, washing the bike, you're getting up close and personal with it, and you'll, you'll find perhaps little potential problems, little things you can fix up, little things that are coming loose and whatever. So yeah, there you go, that's how you look after your R1.